Clashers, what's going on? It's Turin56 from Iconic, bringing you a new video entitled How to Hago Wee Wee. Uh, so welcome to my new series. Um, this will be the first one. We're going to be breaking down techniques and strategies uh, in depth, covering keys to success and showing how those are executed in replays. Uh, so, what is Hago Wee Wee? Uh, quite simply, Hago Wee Wee uh, means Hog, Golem, Witch, Wizard. Um, you'll also hear it called Goho or Goho Wee Wee. I prefer to, with the with the attack strategy that I'm going to be showing you in, in this video, I call it Hago Wee Wee. Uh, the emphasis is on the Hogs. The Golems, Witches, and Wizards are there to supplement the Hogs. They're there to uh, make it easier for the hogs to attack the base. Um, so I like to put the hogs up in front, uh, but that's just me. Um, so basically, Hago Wee Wee is a hog attack that uses a golem and a small kill squad to help eliminate the major threats on that base to your hogs, uh, specifically referring to the Archer Queen and giant bombs, especially pairs of giant bombs. Um, if you aren't aware at this point, a, a single giant bomb, even a max giant bomb, will not kill your hogs. If they are under heal, it'll get them real close, but uh, if they're under heal, they can survive it. Um, but a pair of double giant bombs right next to each other will wipe out all of your hogs within the blast radius. Uh, so they are a big threat to your hogs. Um, I'll be showing you the Town Hall 9 version of this attack, although Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 10 variants are also possible. Uh, different, of course, you're going to be dealing with different types of defenses, different uh, numbers of traps. At Town Hall 8, you only have the three giant bombs to worry about. Um, Town Hall 10, you know, you have, I believe, five giant bombs to worry about. You've got Inferno Towers to worry about. We're just going to be covering the Town Hall 9 version over these attacks. Um, and uh, before we get any further, I just want to put out uh, <laughs> my little uh, note. I, I don't think you should really be trying this attack unless you have, at minimum, uh, level 4 hogs and a level 5 heal. Um, obviously, at Town Hall 9, you can up each of those one more level, you max out your hogs at 5, and max out your heal at 6. Th that's clearly easier, it's better. Uh, I do believe you can do it with four hogs and level five heals, uh, but it becomes much more difficult and uh, you shouldn't use it against max bases, obviously use it against lower town hall nines. Um, so, uh, the keys to success on a Hago Wee Wee, in my opinion, there are four keys to success uh, that you always have to have in order for the to be an effective attack. And the first three um, essentially can be covered with base selection. Uh, looking at the base that you're attacking, um, if you'll, you'll be looking at these three keys and if you can't accomplish one or all of them, uh, Hago Wee Wee is not the appropriate attack for you then. It's not a magic attack, it can't take out every single base. Uh, just like any other attack in this game, it is a base specific ba uh, attack. Um, the first key is uh, where are the double giant bombs? Can you handle the double giant bomb? Are there any double giant bombs to start out? Some bases do not have double giant bombs. Uh, in this day and age of, of uh, the hog renaissance, some bases still don't have double giant bombs. Um, great if there's not. If there are, can they be pre-triggered in some fashion? Uh, if they can't be pre-triggered, can they be avoided? Um, and if they can't even be pre-triggered or avoided, is it possible to trigger them one at a time uh, with your hog pathing? Um, if they're not laid out effectively uh, on a lot of bases, you can trigger them one at a time, even if they're right next to each other. Your hogs can survive that. If they are under heal, if that spot is pre-healed, your hogs can survive that. Uh, the second key is the Archer Queen accessible? Can she be killed with a reasonable investment? And by reasonable, um, I would say one spell maximum. Um, and your kill squad, uh, you don't want it to be too big. I, I'd say uh, on top of the Golem, 
I think any more than 40 more troop space is just too much. You're taking away too much troop space from your hogs. So, um, in my opinion, a, a standard kill squad with this attack is a golem, both heroes, sometimes just the king, um, and maybe a couple witches and a few wizards. Anything more than that, and I just I just feel like you're taking away too much from your hogs. Uh, depends on the base, of course. I don't like to get into specific troop compositions um, because this is not a cookie cutter attack, just like any other attack. You need to uh, look at your base and build your army based on what you're attacking. Um, but just as a general rule, try to keep the kill squad relatively small. Um, otherwise, you're gonna, it's no longer hog a wee wee, it's gonna start turning into go wee wee ho. Uh, third key you need to be able to lure the entire clan castle and kill it uh, just like with any other hog attack clan castle has to be eliminated those hogs are completely vulnerable to clan castle troops uh, even relatively weak ones archers you know if there's a lot of archers or wizards or whatever chasing around your hogs they're gonna die you have to be able to take them out um, and then the last key to hog wee wee in my opinion, is you have to preserve your DPS. Uh, it's just one of the little idiosyncrasies of hogs when you're attacking with them. Um, they are fast, they have a lot of damage, and they can jump over walls, so they're great on cleanup. But because of how they work, because of their AI, that they only attack defenses first, um, that means as they path through a base, they leave a ton of garbage buildings behind them. Um, and if your hogs are the only thing left at the end of the attack, that means they have to path all the way back over the base, covering all that ground they already covered once going the other direction. Um, sometimes you'll have enough time for that, but often you need to make sure you either preserve your kill squad keep some of them intact so they can help you with cleanup or just hold in reserve some more DPS you know whatever it is if you can hold your archer queen in reserve awesome if you can hold uh, you know just a few wizards in reserve that's great too um, but you have to be able to preserve your DPS at the end of this attack because of the way the hogs move through base uh, so those, in my opinion, are the four keys, the absolute fundamentals to the Haga Wee Wee attack uh, that you have to be able to enact for this to be an effective attack. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look over some bases. Uh, we're going to apply these fundamentals in theory to those bases first, see what the bases look like, and then we're going to watch replays of those attacks um, I'm going to try to show you several different versions of this attack so you get a really good feel for how this can be done. So, alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the first base. Okay, so this is the first base that we'll look at for our Hago Wee Wee style attack. Uh, this is a nice introductory base to this attack. Uh, this is a base that I attacked in War 99. Um, and we'll see how it meets all the criteria for a good Hago Wee Wee base. Uh, the first criteria is uh, does it have potential double giant bombs? Yes, uh, but there's only two possible places where we can have giant bomb pairs here and here. Uh, these are the 2 by 4 gaps. All of these other gaps are 2 by 2 or 2 by 3. They cannot contain double giant bombs. Um, so primary threats to this attack are going to be here. Um, because of where these are, they're very easy to pop, very easy to pre-trigger. All it took was one hog here, pathed in, hooked over a little bit there, that was eliminated. Same thing on this other side, that was eliminated. Um, now there were still, there ended up, this is where the other giant bombs were here, I was not able to pre-trigger those, but that's alright. You know, a single giant bomb will not eliminate your hogs, it won't be able to kill your hogs as long as they're under heal. Um, so I just had to make sure that 
once they reached that spot, they were under heal. Um, but I do want you guys to realize that uh, in addition to pre-triggering these bombs, there is a way to path around them as well. This is a very bad placement on those bombs. Um, if somebody were to just do a two-fingered hog deployment down here on these cannons, where's the next place they're going to go? Uh, you know, equal number of hogs deployed at the same time. These are going to go down at the exact same time. Where are they going to path? They're not going to path over here to the archer tower. They're not going to path here to the mortar. Both groups are going to path here to the air defense. Where do they go from there? Then they split up. Then they go to these mortars. Then they go here, here. You know, horrible giant bomb locations. So, you know, pre-triggering is one way to go here. You can also just completely path around these giant bombs. So that's another option there. Um... The second major threat on this base was the Archer Queen. Very accessible. Uh, look at this. She is right next to this wall. Anything coming from this direction over here, she's going to hop this wall. So a golem deployed right here is going to attract her attention. She's going to hop over, and then the Barb King comes in, aggro's onto her, and she dies right about there. Uh, a very straightforward Archer Queen elimination. No spell needed, didn't need a rage or a jump spell or anything fancy like that, just a distraction in the Golem and the Barb King. The third criteria, the Clan Castle, very easy lure and kill. Uh, the range uh, was, I guess, uh, right around here. Apologize for the imprecise circle. Um, so all it took was uh, a giant. I deployed a couple giants here and here, um, partially for deployment, but I also just was interested to see what was in these voids right here. Um, if there were Teslas, they would pop when the giants get close, so I have no, uh, no Teslas popped when those giants came in, so I thought I'd just kind of experiment, and I sent in some hogs, one hog each from each side. Didn't pop any giant bombs, um, so at that point I was pretty sure the remaining traps were Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Um, I had already popped these giant bombs, and so that just left giant bombs there and there. Um, at this point, I have the clan castle lured. Uh, I've got that popped, that popped. I already have, I haven't, I haven't done this yet. I haven't taken care of the Archer Queen because I want my kill squad to be involved in that. Um, so I do uh, an anchor over here with uh, a barb, a few witches, I've got a couple wizards, I take care of the clan castle troops about here. While that's going on, I don't wait for them to be 100% dead, but I deploy my golem and my king, they come in here, uh, a wizard there creates that side funnel, a wizard there creates a funnel on that side, uh, so all this DPS is going in here. Uh, and the last thing, the last criteria, number four for the Hago Wee Wee attack, remember, is trying to preserve your DPS. So my kill squad is all over here in this area at this point. I want to deploy my hogs in a fashion that will protect them. Um, I'm generally speaking not a huge fan of splitting hogs up. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it is a little dangerous though, but at the very least you want to eliminate the defenses that are on one flank of your kill squad. So I deploy them in kind of a little Asian wall over here. Uh, and they path up through this base um, and end up just kind of looping around clockwise uh, until they end up here. Um, because I didn't have to use any spells for this over here. I've got all four heals um, on for my hogs, um, and I was able to keep my kill squad alive. Both my heroes survived this entire time. I've got several witches uh, and wizards up as well, and I even had a few wizards that I held on to just in case for late deployment for cleanup. Um, so that's the overall plan. This is why this attack worked on this base, because I was able to satisfy all four of the keys to the Hago Wee Wee attack. 
Uh, so that was the breakdown on this base. Now let's go ahead and watch the replay and see how it worked out. Okay, we're back. We're going to take a look at this replay. So, starts off with the hogs coming in, pre triggering one of the giant bombs in each void, thus eliminating the double threat. Uh, the giants will grab the lure, just kind of testing there with those other hogs. Uh, but now they have the full killing castle. I anchor off to the east with the barb. A couple witches are going to go down. I like to put my archer queen down early if I can uh, when there is a witch or balloons in the enemy clan castle. She has a very nice high rate of fire, so she's a great tool to use against the skeletons that the enemy witch spawns. Um, and you can see there the golem is down before the clan castle troops are 100% taken care of. I, I knew it was taken care of, though. The Barb King is down, aggro is immediately onto the enemy queen. And as soon as she goes down, this base is crippled. Uh, I want my clan castle to do a little bit more work in there, push in just a little bit deeper there. As soon as that archer tower goes down, that's when I want my hogs in. Uh, the kill squad created a little bit more of a funnel for me, giving me the directionality I wanted with my hogs. And at this point, it becomes almost just a straight-up hog attack. All, all it is is just keeping my hogs up with heals. Um, the work is already done. Uh, but you can see, uh, because of how I deployed my hogs, uh, taking out the left flank of the defenses that were attacking my kill squad, uh, I was able to protect that DPS, keep them up and running, the entire time during this entire attack um, you know they're working on cleanup they're coming in behind those hogs taking out the garbage buildings you know there goes the town hall um, that's what you want with your hog deployment um, it's there's there's two things that you want to look at with your hog deployment with this attack one uh, how are you going to deploy them to protect your kill squad and your DPS and two um, usually, how are you going to deploy them in order to keep them from splitting up? Um, you know, the, the, the bigger the group your hogs stay in, the better, in my opinion. So that's the first attack that we'll look at. Uh, now, let's look at something a little bit different. That was a very straightforward Haga Wee Wee attack, uh, almost too easy. So let's look at one that's a little bit more of a challenge next. All right, so let's look at this next base here for our Hago Wee Wee attack. Uh, this was a base that was attacked by Tycho in War 97, and he did a really nice job on this difficult Hago Wee Wee base. Um, so remember, our uh, once again, quick review, our four keys to this attack are going to be uh, first, removing the double giant bomb threat, second, eliminating the queen, third, luring and killing the entire clan castle, and then fourth, he needs to preserve DPS for cleanup. Uh, so the first threat is the trickiest one on this base. Uh, the uh, double giant bombs, there are four possibilities here, these uh, two by four uh, voids here. Uh, all those could possibly contain a pair of, of giant bombs. Um, they were here and here, uh, Tycho knew this going in, um, and then these other gaps here held the four Teslas. Um, so it helps knowing where the traps are to start with. Uh, so at first glance these look uh, a little bit inaccessible, uh, so he got nice and creative in how he was going to take these down. Um, this first setup top here, uh, the, the first stage of his plan was twofold. Um, this is a combined lure and also just making these giant bombs a little more accessible. So he sends in two loons on each of these two defenses, the archer tower, the cannon. That takes them down and it also grabs the full clan castle lure. At that point he's able to anchor off in the east and drag all of those off to the side. 
So the third key is uh, halfway done at this point. He has the full lure. Uh, the first key is well underway as well because now all of a sudden without this cannon, without this archer tower, this double giant bomb pair is a little more accessible and once he has the clan castle troops pulled off away from that area he's able to drop two hogs and they work their way down in here to attack these two defenses and they pop that giant bomb there. Uh, this one is still there but now that there's no longer a pair it's just the one that's not a huge threat anymore as long as he preheals that spot his hogs will be fine. So half of the double giant bomb threat is removed at this point. So once he's over here, he returns back over here, he's going to deal with this clan castle. Uh, pretty, oops, pretty usual clan castle removal for this attack. Um, he's going to use some witches, his archer queen, and a few wizards. He'll take them out right around here. Uh, at this point, he's got that taken care of and he's gonna drop his golem here with a jump spell. Watch how perfect of a circle I can make. It's just astonishing. I went to art school for that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, he drops his golem there. Uh, the, a little more DPS. His, his barb king is gonna be here as well. Uh, he makes a nice little funnel here with a few wizards to you know take out these buildings to force that barb king in. Uh, the Barb King, you'll find, is going to be your most effective weapon at taking down the Archer Queen. His AI is perfectly suited to it. Um, he aggros on to the Archer Queen very easily because he's not a ranged troop. Um, he's closer in on the action and the, the sphere of influence where you aggro on to an attacking uh, defending hero or clan castle troops, um, he's, he's inside that range, uh, much easier than the Archer Queen is, for example. Um, and then once he gets in there, all it takes is a few swings of his sword under his ability and she's going to go down. So, uh, the Golem, the Barb King, push in here. Um, the Archer Queen will go down to the Barb King, and both of these giant bombs will go down as well. So look at what he's got This for the, the first three keys to this base. Remember, the first key, remove the double giant bomb threat. Well, three of the four are now popped. Uh, the second key, remove that Archer Queen. She is down. The Clan Castle is also lured and killed off to the side. Now all that's left is the key number four, protect his TPS. And because he was able to kill this Archer Queen so quickly with his Barb King, this Golem is going to do a ton of work for him. It's going to stay up and active in this compartment over here uh, for most of the attack. The Hogs are going to be halfway through this base by the time it's finally eliminated. And this Tesla right here uh, is going to be almost exclusively targeting that golem. So this Tesla is pretty much taken out of the defensive picture. Uh, his Barb King is going to be up and doing some work here as well. So when Tycho launches his hogs, he launches them down in this area, um, and that protects uh, the DPS that's coming from here. That protects this golem, that protects this Barb King, lets them do a little bit more work. He still has a couple wizards that have already been down here for his funnel. And you'll notice as well, he hung on to four wizards. Uh, four wizards doesn't sound like a ton, but when it comes to cleanup, if you start them doing cleanup early, he drops them in areas where the defenses have already been removed. Um, that's actually very, very helpful. And his archer queen, who's drifted off up over here, is still up and running as well. Um, because of the golem over here tanking, um, so he's, he did a great job at the key number four as well, which was preserving his DPS. So let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the replay and watch what Tycho did. Okay, so let's watch this replay now. This does unfold fairly quickly, so uh, try to pay close attention and there's a lot of gonna be a little back and forth action, especially at the beginning. Uh, so stage one is dropping these loons, very efficient use of troops. He takes down two defenses, gets the full clan castle lure, and exposes that first double giant bomb threat. Very nice. 
uh, anchors off to the east. He's going to drop a pretty basic kill squad over there while they are handling those clan castle troops. He's going to drop his giant, or excuse me, his golem, his barb king, and the jump, and then back up northwest. Keep your eye out for those hogs. He's going to deploy those two hogs to pop that first bomb. So now that threat is removed. He's got his giant's going to use that jumps, or barb king's going to use that jump spell right here. Very quickly, he's going to aggro onto that queen as soon as he pushes in. And then he and the golem are going to pop the other two bombs and take out the queen. And immediately, here come the hogs. Good pathing to protect his DPS. Uh, you know, protecting them from that entire left flank. And that golem is still up tanking as well. Um, very efficient use of the heal spells here. When you have a jump spell that you use with this attack, you only have three heals, obviously, so you have to be very efficient with them. It's always a great idea to plan them out in advance. And you'll notice he's now starting to sprinkle in those wizards, not waiting for the entire base to be defeated with defenses. You know, just drop them down as soon as an area is clear. Um, that last heal spell was beautiful. Um, his hogs were attacking six defenses while they were standing within that heal. That is a very efficient heal spell. Um, and at this point, it is just clean up. He just demolished this base. This is a, a nice high level Town Hall 9 base uh, that was completely destroyed by this attack. So, great plan and great execution by Tycho on a base that was. Uh, a little bit harder, kind of a next level Haga Wee Wee base because of how difficult it was to remove those double giant bomb threats. So let's go ahead and look at one more base with this attack um, that's uh, even perhaps a little bit harder, a base where you have to trigger a double giant bomb pair one at a time. Okay, so we are going to look at this base next. This will be the third base in this series, and it is called the General. It's a very common war base that you will probably see quite often. Um, and it's one that I like to hog a wee wee. Um, pretty tough defenses on this one. Um, all max defenses for Town Hall 9. Um, so this will kind of show you the power of, of this attack when it goes well. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the General, um, it's defined by these two sets of double giant bombs right there and Tesla's two Tesla's will always be here and almost always the other two will be up here uh, there are several variations of this that you'll see but um, nothing too significant will change this is always going to be the same right here in my opinion um, so at first glance, this looks like a base that uh, isn't really conducive to the Hago Wee Wee attack. Because of these double giant bombs, it looks like something that you can't get. Uh, they're very inaccessible. They're behind two layers of defenses, no matter which direction you're going to come from with your hogs. Um, but this is a perfect base to learn about hog pathing. Hog pathing is all about seeing what the shortest distance from point A to point B is going to be. Um, it's really not that difficult to tell uh, most of the time which direction your hogs are going to go in. You just need to do a quick little measurement. Um, so if you are launching your, in order to take down for, for these double giant bombs here to be effective, um, if you're launching your hogs from this direction, which is the direction I want to come from, uh, they would need to go from this air defense up to this expo but look at the distance there there are, there's too much space there's three spaces in between those two defenses much quicker much closer is this wizard tower as is this tesla and if hogs are moving from this direction up here they're not going to trigger that guy this guy is this guy's still going to be hanging out uh, they're only going to trigger that left one um, and that is the weakness of this base and bases like it that have ineffective double giant bomb sets uh, is that they can be triggered one at a time. Um, if you get your hogs to path from this direction here, this is how it's going to go. They're going to move up to these. From, from this guy, they're going to move over here. So they're just, this, this guy is not a factor at all here on the right. This left guy is going to be the one that pops from the Tesla. Uh, they'll split up here. 
um, and then they'll come from this Tesla right here and they'll pop out some here some to this air defense that's gonna trigger that they're gonna stay there this one won't trigger yet until this air defense is down if you have a heel over this area uh, you'll trigger these one at a time only after this air defense is down and they move on then that one will go down so uh, when you're looking at bases and you're trying to figure out if they can be hogged take a look at the defenses look at how close they are to each other um, and try to get good at predicting which direction your hogs are going to go uh, some bases are difficult but this base is pretty easy to figure out where they're going to go um, the only real problem with this base as far as the hog pathing is you want to make sure you eliminate this motor first because you want your hogs to go in this clockwise direction here you don't want them also branching off up here uh, so this needs to be taken out which flows beautifully into the second key which is eliminating the archer queen uh, very simply with this base it is a jump spell here a golem over here a barb king and as long as you make sure you create your funnel with a few wizards here and here uh, the barb king is going to follow the golem in towards this archer tower the golem is going to go off in this direction he's going to take care of that guy there barb king is going to come up here take care of her uh, the third key is the clan castle lure uh, this archer tower down here is it within range of this clan castle so I send in some loons to take it out and push in just a little bit deeper into this base uh, you'll notice I also buy a one for one trade here one balloon will take out that mortar um, and it is very important when you're doing any sort of hog attack that you do not rely 100 percent on your loons to get the lure if there is a balloon in the defensive clan castle it will not be triggered by your loons it will only come out for ground troops because that's all it can attack so I also send in one hog trailing behind my loons to make sure I grab a balloon if it is in that clan castle uh, once I get my full lure I bring them over here anchor onto this army camp which is wizards archer queen I combine them with my Barb King and my Golem, and all of those troops push in here. They are able to take out a pretty significant portion of this base for me, about that. Um, and then that is the point where I launch my hogs. Step number four, launch your hogs so they protect your DPS. They come in from this direction. Uh, both to protect my DPS to cover their left flank and also because as I mentioned before I need to make sure the pathing is, is appropriate so they will trigger these bombs one at a time. Um, so that is the plan for this base that's how you can uh, strategize a base that has double giant bombs that you can trigger one at a time. Let's take a look at the replay and watch it in action. Okay so we'll watch this replay see how this works out. Uh, first step is the lure. Uh, notice there's the gap between the first loon and the trailing loon so that the air traps if they're there don't take out all of them. Uh, there comes the hog just in case there's a loon in the clan castle and there it is. Um, anchoring with the archer off to the east and here will come the witches and the archer queen and a few wizards um, after I make sure that witch comes out from behind that defending wall um, while that is going on now that I know that those troops are all engaged I can start my funnel and I can drop my golem I almost lose my barb king because I didn't get my funnel up quite in time on that top end but he thankfully comes back down around for me uh, the jump spell here um, will get the golem in and golems can start taking out that mortar and remember that mortar is the key to creating the directionality I want with my hogs making sure they only trigger those giant bombs one at a time um, kill squad is doing good work my king has completely hollowed out that uh, upper compartment of troops there of uh, defenses there and here come the hogs uh, 
you're going to see me get this heel down right away. I know where the, the biomes are, um, and they're going to come in. Uh, those golemites did actually trigger that first bomb, but it was no big deal. Here comes that second heel down. They come out of the Tesla chamber into the air defense, triggering only one at a time, and now they push on, triggering that second one, still covered by a heel spell. Another heel spell coming up right here to make sure they're back up to 100% before they get to the next compartment of defenses. Um, and as you'll see there, I did have a couple of backhand loons on this attack as well. I had some in reserve just in case I needed a little something. Um, because of how I deployed my hogs, once again, I was able to preserve my DPS. You'll see down there and there on the south, I've got two witches, a couple wizards. My archer queen is still doing work in the core. Um, and of course I saved a little bit of DPS with those balloons on the back end and still you know, lost a lot of my hogs it's it's a tricky base with the max defenses but I still have enough hogs as well to be helpful with this cleanup uh, so there you go guys um, the f another way to take on a base with the hoggo wee wee um, this time making sure that even though there are double giant bombs you can trigger them one at a time so there you go you guys that is my guide to Hago Wee Wee I hope that was helpful to you I hope you were able to take something away from this video apply these fundamentals to your own war attacks and have success with them uh, so thanks for watching everybody until next time this is Turin 56 saying keep on clashing